Yep. The men's 400 is going to be pretty impressive. What's up, guys? Andrew here again with Total Running Productions, and today we're going to be talking about a 400 meter dash for the ages. That's right. This year at the NCAA Track and Field Championships, we have a 400 meter dash that could be the closest thing to a 400 meter world championships that we will see at this year's championships. This year, of the top eight 400 meter performers in the world, five of them are from the NCAAs. So to run through who's competing in this year's 400 meter dash, we have Michael Norman, who split 43.06, good for second all time in the 400 meters on a 4x4 leg. We've got Nathan Allen from Auburn, who has run a 44.28 this year as a sophomore. We've got Nathan Strother from Tennessee, who ran a 44.34 at this year's SEC Outdoor Championships. We've got Dwight Sinclair from Kentucky, who ran a 44.55. We also have Akeem Bloomfield from Auburn, who's not on the top 10 list, but he ran a 44.9 this year. And that's good for 15th in the world this year, but he also ran a 44.86 indoors this year. We have Houston's Kamari Montgomery, who split a 43.38 at Penn Relays in April. We have Will London from Baylor, who ran a 44.7 this year. And we also have Steve Solomon, who is a 2012 Olympic finalist, and he split a 44.97 this year. Oh, this is without question the most talented 400 meter field in the history of the NCAAs. This is going to be a race to remember. Now, most people are agreeing that Michael Norman from the University of Southern California is probably the most hyped athlete. He split a 43.06 in a 4x4 leg, and he's the new crowned 400 meter world record holder indoors. He even admits that the 200 meter dash probably would have been easier, but the 400 meter dash is where the talent is, and he wants to show that he's the 400 meter king. And there's basically this huge consensus that a sub 44 will probably happen this year. Now, in total, nine guys have run sub-45 in the NCAAs this year. That means there will be a few sub-45 second 400 meter runners that will not be in the final. That's how deep this field is. Now, last year we saw Fred Curley break the collegiate record, go sub-44, and we are, not once say guaranteed, but it's likely that the NCAA record is in real danger here. Michael Norman could totally do it. He's proven that he's a sub-44 guy. Well, he hasn't proven, but I feel that he's in sub-44 shape. And Akeem Bloomfield and Dwight and Nathan Allen are just, ugh, they all are so fast this year. I do not understand how there will be a sub-45 second runner not in the NCAA finals. And you've got a lot of people obviously trying to predict this race, and a lot of people are saying Nathan Allen from Auburn is going to overtake Michael Norman. Hmm. I say no to that. I say that is not going to happen. I say Michael Norman has proven himself worthy. Sub 45 seconds indoors, world record, 43.06, 4x4 leg. I think he's going to win. I'm not going to say he's got it in the bag because anything can happen. We honestly could see one of eight guys go 43.5. I don't know who it could be, but my heart tells me Michael Norman is going to win this race. And I already did a video about him where I talked about his world indoor record. He's been improving so fast. He kind of came up with Noah Lyles on that high school sprinting scene jumping straight into just some amazing times. This is going to be epic. I think the NCAA record is going to go down. I think Michael Norman is going to go 43.6 or faster. And, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And, you know, the hype behind this is unparalleled. I don't think any race at this year's NCAA Track and Field Championships even comes close to this. This is such a deep field. It is going to be such an epic race. And I am really anxious to watch this race. So let me know who you think is going to win down in the comments. Do you think Michael Norman's going to hold it? Do you think Nathan Allen's going to come in? Akeem Bloomfield? Who do you think is going to win? And what is the time going to be? I tell you what, if you guess the exact time down to the hundredth of a second, I will film myself doing a beer mile with alcohol over 7%. That's a really dumb idea. I'm going to hold my word to that one. So feel free to guess in the comments. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more running content just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.